Hello everyone, it is Ping here today. Today we're doing a playthrough of a game called Block Story. So basically I played it on my phone for a while. And... Now, yeah, now I can do it on PC. I never knew that. But anyway, so we can create a world. It's kind of like Minecraft, except it's more like story and quest based. I don't know. It's weird. You guys will see. But anyway, there's three different modes. Um, creative is creative. Hardcore is story mode. But, you know, everything is stronger than you only get one life. You can create a character. Characters basically are just your items and stuff. And worlds are just like the buildings and everything. So you can actually join different worlds with the same character. So, that is quite cool. But anyway, so yeah, it starts out like this. That's the sound for taking damage. You there, young one. Are you alright? Looks like you took a nasty spill. I think it is best you move around a bit. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it's pretty smooth. I suppose, open quest log. There we go. Peace. Yep. Basically, you just dig just like you do in Minecraft. DPI is a little weird, but that's fine. Land, give me wood. Actually, let me see if my settings are a little off. Oh, that's that's a little better, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out these settings. So yeah, these trees are hollow. I made a home in this one. Unfortunately, there's no, like, third-person point of view, which would have been cool for them to add into the game. But... Yeah, anyway, where is the wizard? Come on, man. You were just here. Did you disappear? No, there you are. All right, get over here. They just, like, all these different NPCs spawn. Oh, right, yeah, so the inventory's up here this thing, put it here, this thing, I have no idea how to do this, I've done it, okay, we need to find coal, um, okay, I, I understand, alright, so, we can find coal, I, oh, that's a cool thing, okay, yeah, there's a bunch of different structures everywhere, which is really cool, there's a tower over there, there's a house over there. It's pretty cool. But anyway. Seems a little. But whatever. We'll roll with it. We did spawn in this area, which sucks. This is not the kind of area that you want to spawn in. Aha, woods. That's exactly what we want. Um okay, we need to find coal. Coal obviously is underground, but it's easier if we just find a cave. I'm not seeing one though. Oh wait, that's a cave. Maybe. Oh no, that's one of those areas. Wait. I can't tell. I'm gonna go toward it. Oh no, that's fire. Never mind. Um, I'm not gonna go toward it too much. Never mind. Um, <laughs> that looks like a cave. Or at least it looks like it could be a cave. I do like the crosshair though. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think this is one of the newer versions. Oh no, that's not a cave, that's just the side of a hill. But at least we found a forest now. Ooh, that's an even better forest. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go up there. Yeah, I'm going over here. These forests are the one that have castles sometimes and giant pits. Well yeah, for some reason this game just like giant pits spawn and so I I just put mob spawners down there. And basically once you get pets, if they kill mobs, then they'll slowly level up. And so I just put giant pits down there with mob spawners, and then at night I just grind my mobs. It's great. There was a glitch on one of my worlds where I had infinite diamonds. It was a great source of life. There we go. Now we're, now we're at this place. I'm not going to start that quest now. Not killing, not killing probably the most powerful mob in the game. Or one of them, anyway. Yeah, this game is definitely really cool. I would recommend it. That is a castle. Not the big kind of castle that I was talking about, but it is a castle. So, good enough. We need to make, like, a sword. I think F is fly. Okay, good. Yep, you can fly as long as you have enough mana, which is basically, like, a magic substance of some sort. But basically, cold go glows purple. I don't know why. That's, if that's something that coal actually does, then, you know, cool. 
I, I don't, I wouldn't know. The wizard is nowhere around here, is he? But, anyway. So yeah, you can, there, it's up in the top left hand corner, there's like some bars that show your health, and then the blue one is your mana. And that's how you fly. You have to make sure you have enough of that, and you can upgrade it to, um, you can upgrade your mana to, like, um, hold more. That is something that you can do. There we go. I did it eventually. I'm aware of this. I need a crafting table. I have not played this game on PC very much. I did try it out earlier just to make sure that, you know, everything worked. And I thought, you know what, might as well do a series on this. I wanted to on my phone, but it was obviously on my phone it wouldn't really be that um that good. But I'm still kinda learning the controls here, so. There we go. Oh yeah, I should probably like actually make this thing. Why? Oh yeah, and things don't fall out of your crafting bench, which is cool to say the least. Where is this thing? Where are you, wizard? Wizard? He's gone, no! Yes, there- oh my- he was standing right in front of me. I am so smart. Now we need to make a sword, but I'm gonna make a pickaxe first because it's just easier. Let's just dig through this. Stone takes way too long to dig in my opinion. But, yeah. In my opinion, it should be a less um, less time, but whatever. I'm gonna make a pickaxe first, just because it's easier that way, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. Also, I love the dig particles. They didn't used to have those. I don't know if it's only for the PC version, or this is just a new version I've played, because I have not played this game in a while, so, you know. I didn't get very far on the one that I just deleted. I pretty much just... This is about where I got to, but I got my dragon first, which... You guys will see in a moment. Well, not a little longer than a moment, but. Um, yeah. Sorry, it'll be a little longer than a moment, but. You'll see it. Let's just mine this thing. And there we go. Now we got our pickaxe. Um, okay, that was a little bit of lag. I wish it was a little bit smoother, but, you know, that's fine. I can't be too mad. I think our quest after this will be to, like, kill some spiders with our sword or something, so... That's all good. I've played this game a lot. Probably more than I should. Okay, well, the wizard kind of just destroyed them. He's honestly really strong. I mean, obviously, he's a, he's a freaking wizard, so... You know, it makes sense that he's a pretty strong mob. Well, NCP, but... Yep, I can help you. Alright, so yeah, this is the... I'm, I apologize if I'm not reading these things. Um, um, but I pretty much know what they all say. From my first time... Oh, that just took a lot of fall damage. I literally just made the same noise that the game makes. That's fun. Any more spiders? Oh... Basically, the best ore in this game is called Unobtainium, hence the name, and it's really good, so. But this stuff is good, too, so I'm going to mine it. Because I'm going to need a lot of emeralds later on, and it's always a struggle to find all of them. It's for a quest, though. Also, let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to make this a series, because I will. And I think the next episodes will definitely be edited more. I think I just wanted to make the first episode a little more free so you guys could understand the mechanics of the game and how things work. I don't know. Maybe I'm just lazy, but... Yeah, spiders. Go. Die. Goodbye. Four out of five. Oh, I thought it was only three. That's good. Whatever, I'm just gonna start headed out. Equip my torch. I can just use two to equip it. And torches run out. It'll have a little bar once it loses some durability. I mean, obviously, that just makes sense. But anyway, if you could move, thank you. If a spider could spawn now, that would be amazing. 
The music to this game isn't that bad either, I don't think. Oh, that is that is a much too large of a spider for me to deal with today. Nope. Goodbye. That is called the Aragog, Aragog, something like that. And it is very strong until you max out your mobs. Then it just then it just becomes like <laughs> like two shot, honestly. Once you start them, they start at level one, and as they kill things, they level up. Max level is 50, but it gets harder to level them up as they get to a higher level. It just makes sense. Aw, uh, you are a small worm. I don't need those. I need spiders. And spidey. Alright, never mind. Spider, get over here. Can't wait to show you guys the dragon. Got him. It's cool. There's also a robot pet that you can craft, and then there's a Gontar, which you... I mean, you can craft any of them, but this is the easiest one. Well, yeah, you can craft any of them. And then the Gontar, and then there's a dog and a cat, but they don't fight. And then, what's the other fighting mob? I forgot. Let me check. It's in the recipe book. There's a whole recipe book, by the way. It's amazing. I'll show you guys some of these things later. I'm... Yeah, animals. Um, oh yeah, does spider. You can get a spider to fight for you, a gontar, and then these are just how you craft all the. Oh yeah, and a snowman. These are just how you craft all the. Um... Wait, what? <gasps> There's other ones. Yes. There's new ones now. Maddie Soul and complete quest, complete achievement, darkness. What is achievement darkness? How do I get to my achievements? Why? Yeah. Creative. Darkness, darkness, darkness. You have to, maybe you have to kill something. Darkness, kill 20. Well, I don't know what those are, okay? Leave me alone. Alright. Let's go. Yes, now I need to give him food, I think. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, there's a zero slot. I did not know that. Dragon. I'm going to name him what I've wanted to name my dragon since I got the name Hypixel Ping. Ping Lord. He's extremely small, but eventually, once he gets to like level 30, I think you can ride him. So. And he can die, but then he just has to replenish, and then you can spawn him again after a certain amount of time. Alright, so we have this castle. I'm going to find a permanent place to live, or at least a somewhat permanent place. Um, that place looks so cool. I've never seen that before. I've never seen... I've seen that castle before a few times, although it is fairly, although it is fairly new. Um, yeah, some of these places are actually pretty cool. Uh, I want food. So, if you could die and give me meat so I can feed my dragon, even though he's probably not hungry because he was just born... You know what? Die. Give me meat, please. Thank you. Where are you? I do not need that. Where is it? There it is. I need to get used to this. I'm trying to throw it out to him. Ah! Go, dragon. Yes. Um, can I, like, get rid of this now? There we go. Eat it, dragon. Yes, good job. Alright. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that was close. That was, I almost hit him. Again, I apologize I'm not reading these things. I already have a pickaxe. I need an axe. Alright. Let's go. I did this a few years ago on my phone, and then I just never continued the series. So. <laughs> but whatever. Yeet. Is that a snake? Die. Die. Get strafe comboed. Oh, no. Sometimes it auto-attacks, and it's, it's scary, because I always end up trying to, like, hit, or I end up hitting the wizard, which is very bad, because then he attacks you, and 
Needless to say, his attacks are very, very strong. And that's just not a good thing. But yeah, the next episodes will be more edited. I think I'm actually going to really enjoy these. I'm going to be completely honest with all of you. I think I'm going to enjoy these a lot. So let's just make one of these. There we go. Place that down. Trying to get this crafting right. Yes, I'm doing it. There we go. I'm getting used to it now. Shovel. Oh, hammer. I forgot about the hammer. Forgot about the hammer. A shovel is actually three, like whatever the material is, rather than one, like in Minecraft, but that's fine. Another small worm, even though he's like slightly larger than me. <laughs> I don't even know what those things are called, but they're weird. They look weird. Just have five now, right? Yes. If you could leave me alone, that would be amazing. I'm trying to talk to people, alright? Do you understand? I hope so. I have four swords, so I don't really care if one breaks. Oh wait, do I? No, but I could. I get more swords if I make these items, so I'm gonna need to hurry if I want to, like, actually be able to fight things. Okay, I'm gonna leave that in that crafting table because I can do that. So you can do that, apparently. It's basically chests, just way less space, but also less expensive, so... You could almost use them as chests, but I wouldn't. And finally, the shovel. The final digging item which will be very useful later on when we have to collect like 50 dirt or something and 50 grass, which it's good for breaking. Because, you know, grass is, it, it's a grass block, but it's basically dirt, so. There, now I get three swords, three torches, and five gold. Arcane power of magic. Yeah. This thing, recipe book. I can do some serious crafting. I have been testing you all this time. I had to know if you were capable of helping me. Oh, really? Oh, no. What do I need to get? Oh, well, I already have three poisons, so... <laughs> Alright, well, hold up. Okay, thing, you go. Help Ted. Okay, so we have to help Ted, guys. Ted is right here. Hello, Ted. Can I... How can I help you? Ahoy! I don't know how to... What, what a Viking sound like. Ahoy, eh? That cre you know what? This is probably a... Oh, he wants iron. Okay, well, there's some of that down in this cave, so I'll probably get that later. So, yeah, I guess that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Block Story, guys. Again, if you did enjoy, be sure to let me know down in the comments so I can know that, you know, you guys want me to continue the series. Because I probably will. Because it's honestly really fun. I love this game. I used to play it so much. And now it's available for PC, which is honestly awesome. So anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See y'all next time. Bye!